Hello everybody, Nox here, and welcome to episode 1 of season 2 of my Medieval Engineers Let's Play. <clears throat> now, I know season 1 was really short, I was actually most likely going to end that season anyway with that episode, considering the... Uh, major failure I did, but really doesn't matter because season, because point six came out pretty much the day that I was editing that. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the point six. Now, I have not loaded this up yet, so I have no idea what the actual changes are, and I haven't watched any videos yet, but <clears throat> I really don't want to do the safe area start. And this wild start sounds interesting. So we are going to call this Season 2, Private. See, I think the last one we had was just times two. <gasps> two. So I think we're going to try five times inventory. See how that works out. Day duration, two hours, yes, yes, leave that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off fast travel. And for now, we're going to run this vanilla. Just so I can get a good idea, but... Of what's changed... And I will be back when it finishes loading. Okay, and we are in. World is loaded, and immediately, uh, looks like they have done. A lot of updating to the uh, textures. Uh, grass looks a bit more realistic. It's got more uh, flowers here that, or I'm just noticing them more. Trees look different. At least to me, the sunlight looks a bit more realistic. And it looks like we spawned down here today. Hmm. Now, this I'm going to probably do a little bit of 
bush. Okay. Oh, cool. You can get it. Looks like roots from bushes. Sticks and roots. Good to know. Um... Okay, they've changed the hip boxes and the textures on the berries. Look a bit better. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is, I'm going to do a little bit of running around and exploring this time. And like I said in the last season, instead of trying to build on a hill this time, I think we're going to go for a nice little flat area and <clears throat> kind of try that out because I, well, as you saw in the whole digging, I kind of failed at that rather epically. Okay, so this is tin. Silver sharp. Can you can you harvest from these? Yes, you can. Yeah, I think we're gonna try heading north because it looks like these are the different biomes. I would guess this is like a desert, and this may be the step area. Maybe forest. Yeah. But I want to see what that big building is in the middle before we do anything. <clears throat> My curiosity has been piqued. While we're doing that, we're going to run around, gather basic resources, food, all that good stuff, and just kind of wander. And keep an eye out for stones. Actually, before we do that, because I don't know if that quest is linked to uh, where you spawn or not. I don't want to go too far in case I have to run back. They're seriously barbarians already? Um... Okay, so can you fight with these now? Let's see. Well, hello, Mr. Bucket. Oh, yay! You're not limited to clubs and stuff now. You can fight them with axes. They are very ineffective weapons, so... Oh, where's your bag? Do you guys not drop loot bags anymore? Uh... Seems to be stuck on something. Stupid. <laughs> yes, I know I am hurt. Okay, they do still drop loot bags. Okay, so let's get a better weapon. Fine. Yep. Looks like it is tied to the starting area. See, did this guy drop anything? I don't see a loot bag. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, 
Okay, so when you're doing the starting quest, you want to stay pretty close to where it's marked, because yeah, it looks like it is tied to your spawn location. I don't even see... Is that clay? Or is it talking about this? It's kind of greenish, looks like copper. Get two logs. Oh. And they've updated the sounds. Trees fall a little bit. A little bit more realistically. Either that or I just haven't noticed it bouncing yet. Time will tell. I actually do think I like how they have barbarians spawning from the start now. Or maybe they were always spawning from the start and it just took a while for them to find you. I don't know, but give me a crafting table. I'm pretty sure we can leave now. Oops, three place crafting table, craft timbers. bed, grab the bed, place the bed, clean the bed, you're coming with me, you know, I want to pick it up. I want to pick you up. Um, oh, there it goes. Okay, had me worried for a second. I don't want to place another bed. I don't want to place that and craft more timbers just yet. I want to do some exploring. Oh, wow, five times is a big inventory. Okay, so we're not going to have those same problems as last time. Should be able to get the grind done a lot quicker now. Let's, see, let's keep on the eye out for more. Ooh, studded club. That was... I don't remember that being in the last version. I remember there being the club and then the mace. I mean, that, that texture looks pretty nice. Looks all worn and pitted. Looking at the individual, or the grain of the wood, that is... I haven't actually taken a nice look at the axe yet. And the axe looks pretty cool, too. The rock textures look a lot better. I know they've done a lot more than just the graphical, but I mean this this looks really nice and with the settings I do have, which I don't know if I went over those, I do a custom. I have the anti-aliasing on, medium shadow maps, the HBAO. I know what that means, but I can't think of it. Everything. There's a new terrain. Anastropic filtering. 
I usually leave the grass density on normal because um, <clears throat> on thick, it's just... This seems to bog my uh, computer down quite a bit. Vegetation view distance. Actually, I want to set this to far and see. Okay, that, uh, the far distance actually used to lag me up pretty hardcore. So it looks like they've done some optimization as well. I'm kind of curious now. Can I get away with thick density now? No. See, it just... It just bogs me down just a little bit too much to have the thick. So we'll go back to normal. Texture quality. Whoa. Motion sickness, go. Okay, that's pretty smooth, actually. Extreme. Not noticing much of a difference, but that may just require a restart. We'll see what happens when I get the next. And I know I said I was going to explore, but messing with these settings. Shadow map quality was another one that kind of bogged me down a little bit. Nope. Well, let's run with these settings for a little bit and see if I get any in the uh, worst performance. I mean, I'm not going to say I have a high end computer. Um, you know, I've got a. Ooh, road. They retextured the road too. Has little uh patches of moss in it now. That's pretty cool. Got another barbarian. can move with the inventory open now. Yes. Yes. Thank you. You can move with the inventory and map open now. So, the studded club is pretty much just like the regular club. It takes seven hits. I don't know, maybe they replaced the club with the studded club. Oh, the arrow moves too. It actually shows your location and not just the... Not just the node you're in. There's three wins. I don't know how annoying it got when I was trying to see how full my inventory was, and I had, and it basically stopped me from moving when it was, uh, when I was in either the map or the inventory. Oh, good job on that. I want to see what the green is. I think it's probably like a plains or the step. 
this actually looks like the step to me from the pictures. Which, I do need to correct myself a little bit. I said I hadn't watched any videos about this. Um, I did watch the uh, video that Keen had put out for the update. I hadn't, I just hadn't watched any other people. I don't know why, but the grabbing seems a little bit slower now. It really doesn't bother me that much. Can you still hold F and collect? Well, if I can actually aim correctly. Ooh, palm trees. New trees. Yay. Yes, you can still hold F and collect multiples. Ooh, this looks like a pretty interesting area, actually. The bushes, actually, you can do something with them now. That's nice. And this almost looks like a, an oasis-type area. like I was actually getting pretty good at it. The uh, gathering does feel a lot slower than what it was. <coughs> Which, it's whatever. And you do have up to a times 10 inventory now, so... Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll gather things a little bit slower for... 70 inventory slots. That That is a lot of inventory, and I actually may drop it down. And see how times three is. This is a real nice area. I mean, not much mountain, and I can't see. Uh, I haven't been paying that much attention, but I haven't really seen any ore whatsoever. At least in the path that I've been walking through. Hmm. And I know it's not perfectly flat, but I mean, this looks like it would be a pretty nice area. And there's an ore right there. Flax. The first flax of season two. up a bit closer to this mountain and see what we can see. Um, hmm. Interesting idea. Oh, it wouldn't be too hard to build in like a This doesn't look like a bad area. A nice little grassland. Kind of build on top of this hill. Build on top of this hill, and I really wish I could figure out what was causing my game sound to cut out randomly like that. And then have like a little uh, bridge going across the gap to that. That does look like iron. I know they added uh, gold, copper, 
tin and I believe steel, which would most likely be an alloy made from iron and some iron. Where am I? B10 of E5. We're going to hover around here and see what else. It's not as dense of trees, but it is a lot more than... It is so much more than what I was doing in my last... Um, more... there. Yeah more close by. Because on the last one I was have I was getting to the point I was having to run down the hill. This looks like iron too. Let's see. Yes. So iron is still the red one. Actually, a patch instead of just discolored ground. That's cool. This one is still a pretty much discolored patch of ground. But that's okay. It's actually a very long. Wow. More iron. There's more iron there. More iron there, it looks like. Um, it looks like that's either a rock, just rocks peeking through, or some kind of ore. This looks like something different doesn't look like the tin that we saw earlier. It doesn't have the little sharp edges to it, so yeah. I don't know what that is. Ooh. This Seems like it would be a pretty good area. Let's climb up on top of this hill and see what we can see. More flax. More flax is good flax. I wonder if they changed the farming recipes. This is a nice little ravine. <laughs> Meteor impact. This is awesome. I don't want to get too close. I may not be able to get out. That would be a very, very bad way to end Season 2, especially after how I ended Season 1. This is a cool little... uh. area. I mean, it's really far from the trees, which I really don't like too much. Well, I think I'm going to pass on this area. And more flax. <clears throat> and I actually do want to stay at least close to a mountain. Close to a mountain. Where are we at? What are we in? We're in green. And we're actually really close to that landmark, so... I think... Yeah, I mean, this would be a nice place to set up. Well, 
pretty close to trees. Yeah, wouldn't be too hard to go down into that ravine and just dig kind of down a little bit and out and have a quarry. But we're really close to that uh, huge landmark thing, so I actually want to check out what that is. More iron. Yeah. The way this looks, it almost looks like a volcano. Do how many stone? Okay, we have enough to make a campfire, but I'm gonna have to do some other stuff first to get to that. we're going right towards it and I would guess it's like some kind of mountain or something or a volcano but I'm not seeing anything raised up I mean unless it's a sunken volcano which is this it? still shown it to be this way. This is weird. That's it. Yeah, I think this may be the landmark. And that is a very, very deep hole. And that is a very... ravine too. Be really cool to build down there. Sometimes I hate how my brain works. And I started thinking, you know, it would be pretty interesting to build down at the bottom and actually have a keep inside. Almost like a little dwarven fortress type area. go against what I was saying about finding a flat area. I mean, there's... a decent amount of trees around. I am with some of the new mechanical blocks, you know. It would be uh, pretty interesting to, like, build underground and then have like a fenced off area up top and have a uh, elevator um, as a way to access the farm. I mean it wouldn't be 
too difficult to do. Well, I mean, it would be a little difficult to set up, but... Yeah. Well, not difficult, more... I would guess time-consuming, because you'd have to... <coughs> yeah, excuse me. Dig the shaft out. And then find a way to come back up. And then you'd have to lay down the framework for the elevator, the ropes, and I want to get to the other side. That's so what I'm actually looking to do right now. Because the more I'm thinking about this, the more I'm actually liking it. Can I... Walk down this side without killing myself? Yes, I can. What is this? Does this go deeper? Is this a cave system? I must know. It looks like there's a natural cave systems. I can't tell for sure, but that actually looks like it continues on underground. So that's something we're going to have to explore. We are definitely going to have to explore that. I mean, there's plenty of trees. I think I'm on the right side now. Oh yeah, there's plenty of trees on this side. It would just be a matter of getting things to line up, and I am hungry again. Where are we at? I mean, there is plenty of iron. I don't, I haven't seen any of the other ores around. Is there any flat ground? Go ahead, pick up another small stone. Yeah, there's some flat ground off this way, so... still think I like it over here a little bit better. We're going to save the uh, Dwarven building for now. Oops, that would just take a while and I am Still not that familiar with the uh, with the <clears throat> mechanics of the game. So, well, the mechanical part of the game. So I want to get a handle on that. But seeing these, it I am gonna have a. Uh, underground fortress at some point probably next season 
Uh, just for uh, posterity and anyone that's interested, um, this is Wednesday the 22nd, day before Thanksgiving, which I hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. Um, this is probably actually going to go up uh, tomorrow, which is Thanksgiving. Um, I've got some family things to do, and then most likely I'll be back and probably recording another episode, because I've got a long ways to go to get back to where I was. And seeing as how there's already barbarians, I do want to get set up and fortified pretty quickly. You know that whole underground thing? We could even do that here. Hmm. Build inside the mountain. Call it the Misty Mountain. And then we must protect it from Smaug. I am hungry. Ooh, the campfire has a... Icon. That is cool. So, what I think I'm going to do is get back closer to that mountain, or foothill, and yeah, I mean, okay, against my own better judgment, no. I am not going against my better judgment. We are building a nice flat ground. Simple, quick, and boring. I just want to find a place where we can set up. Actually, pretty flat. Pretty flat. Right here, and we have iron, more iron. I mean, as we've been running around, there's plenty of iron all over the place, so really don't have to worry too much about that. It's decently flat, like especially right here, should be good for the farms. I do want to get a mechanical farm set up this season. Pumpkin. So yes, I think we are going to be setting up. right around here. So let's get the crafting table out. Gonna do that. Place the campfire. Craft a salad. Oh, okay, they've changed the recipes. Pumpkins, berries, pumpkin, cabbage, mushroom. Let me 
Okay, since this is the quest, I guess we're going to uh, craft this. And we're going to do two mushroom soups. Okay, mushroom soup is still the same. Roots with shrooms are still the same. Shroom steak, roast meat. Okay, so they're all pretty much the same. Looks like it's so far just the salad that's changed. Craft one small chest. Why, sure. Place one small chest. Sure. One small stockpile for timbers. I need more timbers. Place one small stockpile for timbers. One wooden mallet. and a timber. I do like how you can use the different timbers now. Place one wooden support. Unlocked by research. Okay, so I think starting out we're going to go mostly wood again. Just because. I need more timbers. No more timbers in there, so. Do, do, do. For signing permission to the multiplayer, each house also gets its own banner that is shared by all the members. Can you actually set up the banner before? We'll not worry that. Okay, to pick a research. <clears throat> yeah, let's see. Civil engineering includes all of the knowledge about houses, storage, and other works of civilian life. Economic includes all the knowledge about agriculture, industry, and other works, and military uh, defenses, weapons, siege craft. I guess we're going to go civil engineering to start with. And I think a. Uh, Okay. Okay, so yeah, this is all the basic wooden stuff that you actually start unlocked with. Okay. All right, so timbers make planks. more wood. I'm gonna need more wood. Is this a stick tree or a cut down tree? Okay, so that's just a waste. I 
I do like how it actually says instead of just having the uh, little icon. Makes it a little bit easier to see that you're actually aiming at the right area. Now this is going to be a bit of a longer episode because uh, I'm really not wanting to cut any of this may any of the major stuff out because it's uh yeah brand new and everything place one wooden stair So it was. Wood looks a lot better too. Need sixteen timbers. Let's go ahead and start crafting that up. And I think what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to go until I have my starter house set up. The tree did not fall. That tree was still standing after I cut it. It tried to kill me. It did. It just tried to kill me. Okay, so trees are even more murderous than before. Place and build four wooden supports. Okay, I can do that. Two, three, and four. Buildy, 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 buildy. Looks like it's actually grabbing from the crafting table. It's pretty cool. Oops. I only placed three, I needed to place four. Uh, this is just going to be a basic little starter house anyway. Use something we can get our get our bed and okay. So I need more planks, which means I'm gonna need another axe, sticks, and stone. Let's go ahead and cut down a few more trees. I don't know why I'm treating my uh, inventory so gingerly. I have figured out how to fix the not falling trees. Push the tree.
No, I don't want to cut it down. These don't drop very much wood. I wonder if the little, uh, sun coming through at night got fixed as well. Kind of curious to see that. An ulterior motive. So I know I brought it up in the last season how it looked like the sun was glowing through and the resources and No, it just didn't look really all that good. And it looks like he can take out all of the stumps so far. At least with these trees, I don't know about the other trees. Didn't even try. Gosh. No, I saw a rock. Where'd you go? Oh, yay, and someone's setting off their car alarm. Herbs. Oops, not you. I. I do need in here. Five. Oops. Too early. Honestly, feels a little bit weird having an inventory of this size. I think we had uh, 28 inventory slots with the times two. Yeah, because the times one is just 14. Yeah, might as well make you into one too. I'm going to need timbers anyway. Obtain... Oh, planks. Let's see. One timber gives you five planks? Or four planks. Five. Okay. How many do they... Hmm, this brings up an interesting question. Did they add a new storage or a new stockpile for planks? Let's see, I don't need stairs anymore at the moment. So the floor does not use timbers anymore easily. Okay, it's just the unbuilt stuff that has that new sound. That's mildly uh, weird and annoying. 
Uh, planks, can you make... Yes, you can make planks in your inventory. Huh? Yeah, I can live with the slower crafting. Probably gonna need planks for the walls, too. Ew, did they change to not requiring metal parts for the windows? completely different now. Nope, not to have it. Okay, they're, uh... It looks like they're separate, maybe? Okay, the wall still uses timbers. when the wall with the shutters does not require metal parts anymore. Yay. Still turn logs into sticks. Yes, you can. Okay, and while we're crafting that up. thing I am noticing is the uh, animations are a little bit more um, uh, what's the word finicky when you're uh, cutting because it was trying to do the uh, side cutting and I'm pretty sure if I'd let that continue it probably would have worn the axe down without actually collecting anything. Cabbage. Now we're gonna need more sticks. Gonna need more roots for food eventually. Can't harvest from that bush. We unlock yes we did unlock roofs. Run 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 jump. Okay, 
And I guess while we're at it, we can go back to civil engineer. What do you get for this? Shelf, chair, table. Hmm. Better house. Wooden roof, wall walks. Small stairs, railings. Claim block. That yet. Log, timber, stone. Ooh. They've broken it down a lot. Let's see. Improved storage. Crate. Stones. Ores. Which one gives you the better oven now? That does not. That does not. No oven. Steel pickaxe. Improved storage, no. No. Ooh. Grand entrance. Or refining. I want you to smell uh, tin, copper, iron, silver, gold, torches, uh, wooden claim blocks, deluxe housing. Terracotta, kiln, clay jar, smithing. No. Iron wooden crossbow. That's cool. Crop production. No. Transportation. I should have known it wasn't in there. There it is. Fine cuisine. We need... Milling, which requires crop production and terracotta, so we're a little bit away from that. So I think we're going to continue down to a better house. <coughs> Next. I wonder if the small stones work a little bit better than they did in the last version. I didn't use them, but um, I was watching a series where there were some issues with it not lining up right, and it was only able to be used in a certain way. What kind of roof do I have? That roof requires wheat. And I'm pretty sure the one I'm working on gives wooden roofs, yes. So I do want to. Pick all you up. Oh, come on. Don't be this way. Up. You, I will pick up. I'll leave you. Okay, the hitbox to pick that up is really fiddly. So 
ahead and take both of you. Ah. Okay, so... Let's see how these small stairs work. Crafting table, I need to put you back down. Before I need a new mallet, I just need uh, sticks and timber. Craft another hammer. This one's about to break. So do you go all the way? Build a wall walk. Okay. I'm just going to build this and take it down. Planks. Probably going to need more timbers for this. Place a wooden roof. little square off the roof. Okay, does it only latch on to uh, fully built blocks? No. no! Wrong roof. I want a wooden roof. Not a thatch roof. Come on. Wooden roof. There. To you there. Need more planks. Okay, we're getting close to wrapping up. Planks.
Wow, this takes six per. And it's not bad. Guess really need to uh plan your builds out a little bit better now. Just to finish. And wait for this to finish. Actually, we don't need these stairs anymore, so. I wonder if you can kill Barbarian with a. Uh, with the hammer now. I mean, you can block with it now. That would be pretty, uh, interesting. I know one of these was not finished right here. Okay, now let's test and see. Still have the phantom highlights, but I do not see any glowing, and this sky looks really nice. It'd be really cool if it rotated along with. Okay, that's my campfire. Campfire, you're actually going to move a little bit closer. Get it right about there. Yeah, this I'm not too much a fan of. It's sinking into the ground a little bit, but mushrooms, herbs, roots, pumpkin, lettuce. Let's get in here. my bed right here. Claim it. And might as well put the chest down because there's no point in carrying around barbarian skulls. Or skulls. So you can go in there. You can go in there. Ores can. Don't need to carry that around. Flax, we don't need you. Okay, that works. So, for the... Next quest... I think I'm gonna do a little bit of thinking off camera and decide on which quest we want to do. I mean, with Barbarians, Palisades wouldn't be a hmm. They have diagonal Palisades now. Or did they have that before? 
Mm, I think for now we're probably going to... Actually, we are actually going to try to get down to the uh, fine cuisine, which is going to require milling, which requires crop production and terracotta. Terracotta requires ore refining. And crop production requires smithing. Smithing requires ore refining. So I think the next thing we're going to do is uh, ore refining. But other than that, I think that is going to... Uh, end this episode it's been looks like about an hour and 20 minutes and like i said i am not gonna put any cuts in this one <clears throat> um starting with the next episode depending on how quick i can uh build up resources again just like the last season uh, very first thing i'm gonna try to do is are you ready to harvest pumpkin yes you are i'm going to try and are you ready yes you are try and get a warehouse going and what i'm thinking is um i wonder Yep, still has the glaring white to mark the bound or mark the area boundaries. Cabbage. Be gone, ghost herb. But yeah, what I'm thinking of is uh, the land back here seems to be a lot more level than to this side. And this side looks really what level, so most likely what I'm going to do is have the uh, farm, once I unlock it, coming out down this way. So the warehouse, I'm most likely going to put over in this area, and um, considering it may take a while to get back to get back up to a stone <clears throat> what I may do is have uh, like multiple warehouses or a long building with just some uh, walls separating the deck the different uh, stockpile sections with some doors in between to get through them a little bit easier and it seems like it would be a pretty uh, fun build, kind of like the uh, kind of like a longhouse, you know. Starting so many pumpkins, you know. Starting about back right here, and. Running back quite a few blocks. And maybe to about right here or so. And extending out this way. And what I'm going to try to do is have about a... To start with... Um, ten stockpiles. At least ten large stockpiles of everything. Um, uh, small to health. Satisfies hunger by moderate. Satisfies hunger by moderate. Oops. Let's cook up a salad real quick. But yeah, so next episode we are going to work on... 
getting ore refining. And we are going to start working on the warehouse. Uh, depending on how frequently the uh, barbarians show up, um, I may prioritize getting the uh, palisades so I can at least have a little bit of defense from them. Um, but yeah, since the uh, three, four I came across, I haven't seen any more, so I don't know how long it's actually going to take them. But yep, those are the plans for next episode. As always, they are highly subject to change depending on what happens. But other than that, if y'all enjoyed the video, um, go ahead and leave a like. Yeah, if you have any ideas or suggestions on what to build, what not to build, how to build something, or if you've messed around with this version and have some tips or anything with the new blocks, feel free to leave a comment. And if you really enjoyed this video and you want to know when the next one comes out, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and if you turn notifications on, it'll tell you any time I upload a new video. But other than that, y'all have a good one.